about the cord buddy not only is it so easy to use it's also an instant party and let me prove that to you for a second you like big and rich music you want to come on the road with us you want to be in a band if you got a cord buddy and you can push the red button and the blue button you can play save a horse ride a cowboy check this out well i walk into the room passing out hundred dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my silverado grill red button i buy the bar a double round of crown everybody is getting down in this town ain't never gonna be the same red button and i saddle up my horse blue button and i ride into the city red button make a lot of noise blue button cause the girls they are so pretty Riding up and down Broadway on my old Stuttley Roy And the girls say, same horse, ride a cowboy Everybody say, same horse, ride a cowboy Woo! Party time with the Cord Buddy Get yourself a Cord Buddy and have some fun, people It's time <laughs> All right, so we are uh, live here. Hey, D. Scott Smith and uh, Travis would normally be here with us on this Thursday morning. Uh, he's got to take care of the kids. So uh, family life, uh, that's what it's all about. So uh, anyway, uh, we are here live on Amazon. You might be watching somewhere else like uh, Facebook or YouTube, but I encourage you to join us here over on amazon.com slash live and you can find us here now that was just the um john rich song and so it's a uh... that is two chords and uh we're using the chord buddy here now this is uh a learning system. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, when you start playing with Chord Buddy, now you do get the, uh, when you buy the Chord Buddy, it's highlighted in the carousel here. Uh, you get the Chord Buddy, the learning system, which is a, uh, if you follow all the lessons and practice and you follow that timing and there's no race, uh, but you'll be playing without using the Chord Buddy in about two months. And uh, but you'll be playing songs right away and you'll start learning that strumming now uh, that John Rich. Now he's playing those uh, he's playing the uh, D chord. And G chord. So uh, let's just kind of show you a little bit about what that means. So we're using this uh, red button to play that D chord. And we're really only playing the four lower strings here. So these four strings, holding that red button, and then playing, pushing the blue button. Now that's pretty cool, and uh, you now, the chord buddy will fit on most guitars like this one. This actually happens to be a Perry guitar. And uh, I do have a tuner, and we've got that in the carousel, this real tuner. Uh, I would be using my chord buddy tuner, but my daughter uses it. She took it. She, li she loves that one. Uh, and so always make sure that your guitar is in tune. And so we do a quick check. And it's a little flat there. was a little flat so there we go so there you go you want to have a tuner and uh, we've got that tuner in the carousel as well uh, but we do have the chord but or the uh, Perry guitar uh, with the chord buddy and uh, Travis designed this guitar it is uh, in stock and we do have the full combo pack you can get and this is if you're thinking about what you would buy your father 
What does he not have that he wants that you can afford? I tell you, Chord Buddy, if he's got a guitar uh, in the closet under the bed somewhere uh, and doesn't know how to play, Chord Buddy is a great way to do that. And then if he would like, <laughs> you can get the full combo set and it is a affordable package. You get the guitar, you get the Chord Buddy learning system, the learning book, the songbook picks, uh, and the tuner, the full combo pack. We got that highlighted in the carousel as well. So back to that, to John Rich. So that is just a, that's a song with two chords. And uh, as I say, we're using the red button to play that D. Now, as you learn that, that strumming pattern here, uh, traditionally, you're going to be playing that with your right hand, using your left hand to finger the chords. And uh, then you're going to get you used to playing that. Then over time, as you start to do this, as you start using this, you're actually going to pull this tab out. Now, the first one is that D tab. Look at the way that's just going to come out right there. It's got these little pads underneath. You can see that uh, these mimic your fingertips and hold the strings down. So we pull that one out and there's a little hump right here. So you put your finger on it and you can come right down and you can play that D chord. Now we're playing that D chord with your fingers on the strings. Uh, we still have three other chords on the chord buddy, uh, but you're using your fingers on the strings. And so that way, now you have graduated from using the, the tab to playing with your fingers on the strings. And then you continue to do that and you continue to pull those tabs out until you're playing all the chords. Uh, you're playing all of the, the guitar with your fingers on the strings. And so that's uh, that's kind of a, a, an amazing thing that happens, right? And so you start off using the chord buddy, then you pull those tabs out, and uh, then pretty soon you are using your fingers on the strings. And so that is one of the beautiful things here. And uh, I just want to get, we got a comment here um, that uh, Tony says, uh, hi there, I want to thank Travis. Yes, Travis is the inventor of Chord Buddy, founder uh, and owner of the Chord Buddy company. Uh, my first Chord Buddy broke, uh, his son, her son stepped on it, Tony's son stepped on it. And, uh, and uh, Ode, or, yes counterfeit tony absolutely thank you for bringing that up uh one of the things now uh we do have highlighted in the carousel uh let me roll through here we've got the um uh, the actual episode uh week three of season three and travis was on shark tank where he won a deal with robert herjavec and uh uh, for those of you that have seen that episode or want to watch that, tra uh, Travis demonstrated the chord buddy, and uh, especially uh, Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, he was a little bit uh, jaded because he goes, no, it's a cheat. You're not actually learning to play the guitar. You're learning to push buttons, right? Until Travis pulled that first tab out and said, look, this is how you, you actually do it. You actually start learning the rhythm, then you start uh, um, using the your fingers on the strings. Now, uh, Kevin's one of the things that Kevin O'Leary said was, "Is why is this not? Or where do you make this?" Well, Travis made it in the USA. In fact, most of it is made in Alabama, specifically in Dothan, Alabama, where Travis Perry lives. And uh, I've been fortunate to be there at the plant in Dothan, Alabama, uh, visited the factory where they they do the injection molding, the plastic injection molding there, and then uh, actually at the printers where they print the books. 
now at the Cord Buddy factory. They assemble these all together, package them, and ship them out. And so uh, it's a popular uh, tool. And of course, what happened was someone got the design. Now this is patented. It's all copyrighted. But someone uh, made counterfeit ones. And the the plastic that they use is inferior and it'll actually uh, break. Uh, it won't line up properly to play the strings. So uh, that's what you want to look out for. You want to make sure that you have a genuine cord buddy made in the USA and uh, shipping right out of Dothan, Alabama. You can buy it right here on Amazon. And so let's go back and highlight the cord buddy. Uh, and um, I got to get a drink of coffee because I'll tell you what, it may be 10 a.m. on the East Coast, but here on the West Coast, it is still 7 a.m., just after 7 a.m. And so uh, anyway, got to get some coffee. I do uh, have some coffee highlighted in there because uh, it turns out I'm the only one in my family that drinks coffee. So I can make one cup at a time using the Chemex. And so uh, uh, I do have that as well. I'm just going to find that down there in the, um, in the uh, carousel. We've got the, uh, the Chemex uh, filters. These are very clever in the Chemex set. And I can make just one cup at a time. Makes my family happy because uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room on the counter space. And then uh, I do use Seattle's Best Coffee. I like the dark roast. I don't know about you, but I like the dark roast. And so here it is, 7 a.m. on the West Coast. And uh, let's drink a little more coffee. Now let's go back to to playing music with uh, with the chord buddy. Now I mentioned that you want to get tuned, so uh, I have this real tuner that uh, I have been using this one a lot. I also play bass. This one could be set for. Uh, there's a little switch here where you can see the the G. And then uh, as you, you can roll through and set it for bass, ukulele, violin, uh, different instruments, and then it clips on. It uses either the microphone or vibrations, and that's what happens when this clips on. And you play, it actually uses the vibrations from the instrument to uh, register that. So let's, let's look a little bit closer at the chord buddy. So uh, the chord buddy will... It just connects on up here at the neck, where the head of the guitar, right at the neck, on the neck. And you want to make sure that the that the frets are lined up. And we do have actually have a little video that will show you on um, show you how to do that. And I'll I'll play it in a moment, but I do want to address uh, some questions that uh, Tony has. Uh, so uh, she's so she did get the counterfeit one and uh, Cord Buddy customer service sending her one for free. What customer service? Yes, definitely. Cord Buddy is, you know, Travis will send out an email to every person and uh, then you'll actually have the owner's email. You can contact him directly if you have uh, any questions. Uh, so uh, let's see, stomach strumming techniques. Tony says, I have a question. Do you know what strumming technique when using the songbook? Oh, that's a great question. Because, uh, and let me go back to the wider angle here. So uh, there are a lot of different types of strumming patterns. In fact, uh, using the same chords, the same timing, uh, but a different strumming pattern will give you a different song. So uh, when you get the chord buddy, you'll get access to the online lessons. So they're free and uh you, you, there's a, a number of different videos and actually they start off with the strumming pattern. So the, the, the standard pattern, just, just from top to bottom. So now you're just, you're just strumming here and then you can get uh, some different types of strumming patterns where you're going to pick the bass. 
and you might do an alternating where you pick strum. And uh, so it really depends, Tony, on the song that you're going to play as to which uh, strumming pattern you learn uh, and you're going to use for that song. So in the lessons, the video lessons that are free and come with the Chord Buddy, and uh, there's an app actually that uh, has all of the videos on there. And then uh, it starts off with the strumming patterns because uh, you want to start strengthening your hand here and get used to using your fingers to push the different uh, buttons and then eventually the strings while you're learning the different strumming patterns. So then uh, the pop strum is a very, uh, it's probably the most traditional one that you'll hear. So uh, you'll want to learn the different types of strumming patterns. And uh, so that's why we have the lessons. So you can download the app, works on, uh, on all kinds of devices, whether you're Apple or Android. And then you can watch the videos for free, learn the different strumming patterns. And then as you, as you start progressing and you're learning how to play, as we did, we started off with that uh, John Rich, Then you just go and you'll start pulling those tabs out like this D. So we pull that D chord out and now we start using our fingers. <laughs> Let's take more tabs out. There we go. We just took more tabs out of the chord buddy. Let me put those up. And so uh, now we're playing that uh, G chord. So that is the magic of the chord buddy is, is that you're actually using the, um, the chord buddy to strengthen your hand, learn to use those uh, fingers, uh, your fingers <laughs> on your left hand to uh, finger the chords, strengthen them up while you're learning the various rhythm patterns. And then, uh, and then, so there we go. We'll get it back together. And so this is what's really cool uh, about the Chord Buddy. And this is what uh, got the sharks on Shark Tank interested. Once Travis pulled that tab out, all of a sudden, uh, Kevin O'Leary saw, ah, okay, I understand. This is actually a learning system. It's not just a, um, uh, it's not just a um, cheat where you're pushing the buttons. It's kind of like an auto harp. An auto harp uh, has a number of strings and you just push buttons and that plays the chords. So in this case, uh, eventually you start pulling those tabs out. All right. So, uh, so uh, Tony has another question here. Uh, three, four time. Three, four. So typical rock and roll is going to have four beats per measure. That's four quarter notes uh, per measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four. Now, three, four has three beats per measure. That's three quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We might find that in uh, more like a waltz type song. So that is the um, so that is the the three four beat there. And so that's what you'll find in the songbook. So, Tony, hopefully uh, that helps answer that question. And uh, I just want to play a little video here that shows how you connect the chord buddy to your guitar. 
So let's get over to that little video and uh, you can see uh, how you actually install the chord buddy on your guitar. Well, it's time to put the chord buddy on your guitar. Um, chord buddy works wonderful. It's an amazing product, but like anything, it does have to be installed correctly. So let me tell you a little bit about the chord buddy before we, we uh, put it on and then I'll show you how. So as, as you know, each button presses down a chord. What you might not get is that on the underneath side, if you see that wiggling, each tab is pressing down at least two, and in three instances, it's pressing down three strings at one time, okay? So what you want to do is you want to unscrew this so that this collar will slide up and back, okay? And you want to lay the guitar down in your lap or either on a table, but put a towel or something under the table. You don't want to scratch your guitar. And I like to start from the big E side. And there's two clear shoulders that must sit on top of the fretboard right outside the two E strings, the top and bottom string. So push it over. You want to line it up right here. And you want to press down on the blue tab and make sure it's hitting just barely behind the third fret. That's important. The third fret is barely behind it. Then squeeze it together with, with your thumb and finger and then tighten it up. And let me tell you something. Go ahead and tighten it. Uh, you're not going to break it. Now don't get a pair of vice grips and tighten it, but you need to get it really snug because you don't want it moving around on you. Because as you start pressing these down, see, if you don't have it tight enough, it's going to tilt and work its way down. Now, as you can see here, there's a slight upward angle. And that's what I mean by upward angle like that. You do not want the chord buddy flat down. What will happen if it's flat? Your strings will buzz and it will not sound good to you. So make sure when you have it installed that you do see this upward angle right here. And if you've done that, I can promise you it will play perfectly. All right, so uh, one of the other things that uh, I've been asked about is different microphones. And so uh, we're gonna run through some of the different microphones. I've been using this MXL 990. This, uh, uh, I like the 990s. I've got it highlighted here in the carousel. This is what they call a condenser microphone. There's two broad types of microphones. There are dynamic mics and you might see it like this a dynamic mic and condenser mics now condenser mics are very sensitive and they're great if you're in a studio type environment where you don't have garbage trucks or school buses or something or dogs barking uh, in your neighborhood and so this one is uh, a condenser mic and i've got it in the uh, in the shock mount uh, and on a little tripod here. And so I can put this on my desk. And I like this one because this this uh, picks up my voice and the guitar at the same time. Now, uh, that's the benefit of a condenser mic. Now, condenser mics do require what's called phantom power. And so uh, also in the carousel here, let me just highlight uh, the focus right. So I use a focus right. Here's the box uh, for a focus right. Now, this is the focus right. Gen 3. This takes the analog signal, that's this uh, uh, cord right here, and converts it into a USB so I can plug this directly into my computer. And I like this one because uh, I like the condenser mic because I can set it down and you can hear the guitar and you can pick up my voice at the same time. So this is a, this is a condenser mic is very, very sensitive. Now, uh, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to demo some of the different types of mics here so we can take a look and see what works. Now, one of the things, uh, is I've got another microphone here. Uh, this one is my pile. Uh, in many cases, we call this one the Elvis mic because he was uh, often seen using this type of microphone. Now, this microphone happens to be a dynamic microphone, so it doesn't require the phantom power. Uh, this pile is uh, actually with a, has a metal case around it, 
a very durable design for the road. And you saw the little plastic box that it comes with. So that's pretty cool. Now, the dynamic mics, you have to be up much closer to those. And so I'm going to do a little demonstration. So right now, uh, I've got the, here is the MXL 990. And it is a, a condenser mic, very sensitive. And you can see I've got it uh, probably about six inches away from my mouth. And uh, as I move away, uh, it still sounds okay. You can still pick me up. And of course, as you get closer, you get what's called that proximity effect. All right. And uh, radio guys like using the proximity effect on their microphone. All right. So now I'm going to switch over to the dynamic mic. So I'll turn the power off. All right. And so now I just have to adjust the gain on my focus right. And so as you can see, I'm up really close to this one. I'm, I'm right, right now just about a half inch away. And using the, this is the Pile microphone. And it is a, uh, it is a knockoff, I say, uh, using the shape of, of uh, a, the classic Elvis microphone. And uh, you can connect on the bottom here to a microphone stand. This is just typically be uh, on stage and uh, you can pivot it and then, uh, but it is just that got a very classic look. Now it is a dynamic microphone, which means you've got to be up pretty close to it. Like I said, I'm about, about a, an inch away from it, a half inch or so, and uh, not speaking directly into it because I don't want to get, I don't want to get the uh, plosives as they call that. And so, uh, but as I move away, it uh, really doesn't pick up very well. It really doesn't pick up very well. It's designed for the voice or if you're going to mic like your guitar or amplifier, you got to get it right up close to that. Now, the nice thing is, is that it's not going to pick up extra things. So if I have a, um, if I have a, a noisy neighborhood, I got a dog that's barking. Uh, dynamic microphones are good. And I just let's see, hey, there's Chris Stone. Hey, Chris got uh, a great, uh, thank you for uh, for joining. And uh, there is a lot of good stuff here. Um, <laughs> he says, wow, I got a comment banned for putting in an Elvis lyric from this from the song Hound Dog. Well, I've actually got, uh, we're going to play a little video in a bit here to show how, <laughs> how you can play uh, hound dog specifically with a cord buddy and that's what we we started with today so this is the pile dynamic microphone and i like this one now another microphone that is very popular is the samson microphone now this is the q2u and uh, this is either xlr so you can see the three pins in there or usb and so it's got a usb connection this is this is actually I stole this from my wife's desk. This is the one that she uses for her podcast. This is a great dynamic microphone, which means again you've got to be up close to it. And uh, when there's in a noisy environment, it's not going to pick up those extraneous sounds. So the dog barking, the school bus going by, or those other types of noises in your environment. So this is a really good one. So let's show what it looks like or what this one sounds like when I go, uh, when I plug this one in. Now we'll be plugging this one in through the XLR connection and uh, into the Scarlett, uh, the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, which again is, is, is what I use as my uh, primary interface. Now I do have a, a secondary interface that I use mainly for traveling, which is the uh, Ceramonic Smart Rig. And I like that one because it comes both in USB-C, uh, uh, standard microphone type plug, like you'd see for your earbuds. It's got uh, USB 2 or 3, whatever those are, those the rectangular ones. <laughs> anyway, there's uh, different ways to plug it in. It runs on a 9-volt battery. And I actually use that with my iPad Pro uh, because it's got the USB-C connection and I can connect up uh, something like this uh, Samson microphone, uh, this Pile microphone, or even the uh, MXL 990. So there's a lot of different options. So let's, let's see 
Uh, let me go ahead and plug in the Samson. So I'm going to turn the gain down a bit for a moment here. All right. And uh, so let's get the gain back up on this one. Okay. So now we have the Samson microphone. And I've got uh, a windscreen on it, which helps with the plosives, right? That's the P's, the and uh, you put that on, and it it makes it sound a little bit cleaner, a little bit more professional, uh, because this type of microphone, you do need to be right up on it. So let me get away and just kind of show as we go uh, about 10, 12 inches away. You can barely hear me, but you can still get a little bit. But it really is designed to be right up on this one. So you want to be a couple inches away and uh, speaking directly into the top of the microphone. If we talk onto the side, it's not going to sound as good. You want to get right into the top of it. Now, this one doesn't quite have that uh, proximity effect uh, that the radio guys like, but it is a really good microphone, and it works on both XLR and USB. So the plug-and-play part of this, plug in that USB cable, plug it right into your computer, it's got a headphone jack, so my wife connects her her earbuds into there, and then she can she hear herself. And there's a, actually a little volume control right down here on the bottom, so you can you can control the volume. And then you've got an on, yeah, on off on off on off switch, which is really handy. So uh, if you're uh, you need to cough or something like that turn that off so anyway uh, the samson q to you <laughs> i always have to look uh q to you uh this has been a great microphone this is the one that my wife uses for her podcasting and uh now the final microphone that we're going to plug in is actually the um it it it's uh my go-to microphone on a daily basis and it is the Shure SM7B. It is uh, one of the classic microphones that's out there. And uh, it has been around for a long time. I have it on a toner boom arm. And uh, so let me pull that microphone up. Now, let's, uh, let's get that one connected up here. And hold on just a moment as we make those switches here. All right. Now, as I said, I've got this connected up with, I've got the, a, a toner uh, boom arm on here. And uh, that is really solid. I like that one. And then this microphone, uh, now a, a US or a, a uh, XLR microphone like this, this one would be a good handheld microphone, the Samson Q2U is a good handheld microphone. This, uh, this sure is not a handheld. It really is designed to be on a stand or on a boom. And so uh, what we've got is is uh, in this type of microphone, there's actually a transformer in here that increases the power that's that's generated when you talk into the diaphragm here and the and the microphone. It boosts the power, it goes out through and into your um, in this case, the focus right or into your amplifier or wherever. And uh, it has a pretty good amount of power to that. Now, to lower the noise signal that comes out for this type of microphone, so this Shure SM7B was really designed as a recording or broadcast microphone. So you want it to minimize the amount of noise that goes out. So in here, there is no transformer. So the power that comes out of this is pretty light. And so uh, you need to use a booster on this. And so the one that I like the best is the cloud lifter. So I've got that highlighted in the carousel. And you can take a look at the um, at, at that. Now, you definitely want to use the combination. 
So I have the SM7B, which is a great dynamic microphone. And again, you got to be up pretty close to these as I move this one away. You really can't hear uh, quite as well. It is designed to be right up on here. Now, this is my daily go-to microphone is the Shure SM7B connected up to the cloud lifter and going into the focus right and then right into my computer. So this is the uh, this is the way I uh, run on a generally on a daily basis, but I do uh, as I said, my wife is using the the Samson microphone, and Chris mentioned that he loves that microphone, and it is a really good microphone. It's like it's a great uh, general use podcast uh, microphone. If you're going to do any recording, I love the Samson. Uh, I just love the look of the pile. I, I just think this one is really, really cool. And uh, so it is a lot of fun to use this one. But again, as a dynamic microphone, you need to be right up into that. And then uh, just to kind of going back and rounding this out, uh, the MXL 990, this is, uh, in the, this is the Patriot finish. Uh, th this one, the thing about the 990 that is so cool is that you can get different finishes. So there's silver or champagne. There's black. Uh, they've got some with LEDs up here under the screen. So if you're a gamer, these are great. So if you're broadcasting into Twitch and you want to have a little bit of style, uh, I can definitely recommend something like the MXL 990. And uh, that is, a, there's a lot of fun there. So those are some of the different microphones. And as I said, right now I'm using my um, Sure SM7B into the cloud lifter. And, uh, but I'm going to switch back. So let's go back to the MXL 990 and um, talk a little bit more about some guitar stuff. All right. So stand by here. Let's switch this out. go into that one so let's make sure the uh all right so we're back to the mxl 990 and uh you know we really are talking a lot about uh, playing the guitar and being able to learn guitar right here on amazon so if you're watching on a, a channel other than amazon i recommend that you go over to amazon.com slash live and join us there so uh, here we have the Perry guitar, and this is available. Let's get that uh, highlighted in the carousel. So the Chord Buddy is truly a guitar learning system. And when you pick up a guitar for the first time, one of the things is, is that uh, you have to learn a lot of different things. You have to learn strumming. So you're strumming with your right hand. And then you're creating the chords using your fingers on the strings with your left hand. And so there's a lot of different things that are going on. One of the things when Travis invented the chord, buddy, was is, is it allowed people to use one finger to make a chord so they can focus on learning the different rhythms. And then uh, eventually, as you start playing, you start removing the tabs out of your chord body. And now you're... You're using your fingers on the strings when you remove those tabs. So let's play the little video that shows 
uh, Travis, in, and this is one of the videos, uh, it's a segment of the video, that uh, when you buy the Chord Buddy, you get the app, download the app. There's all the videos that are in there. In fact, you can even download the, the app now. You can go to uh, uh, where you get your apps and download, look for Chord Buddy, download the app. You can watch the videos. You can see how it works. Uh, but let's play the video where we actually remove the D tab. Well, all right, guys, this is a point in the system of Chord Buddy where, as my daddy would say, the rubber hits the road. Uh, up to this point, we've been focusing on right hand rhythm, timing, different strum patterns. We've learned four different strum patterns. We've been focused on learning some songs, getting some finger dexterity going. Now it is the time to start removing these tabs and start making the chords on your own. This is an exciting time and I'm glad that we're here. All right, so what we're gonna do first is how do we remove the D tab? All right, the best way to do it, and I'm gonna keep this at an angle for you to see it best. You may want to lay it down in your lap but I'm going to keep it up. What you want to do, you want to press the, the blue one down so you get it out of the way, okay? Now, this is, I, this is the way to take it off with it on the guitar. Uh, from the factory, these things are in there pretty tight, so you have to pull it pretty hard, okay? So, but you're not going to break it, so don't worry about that. So push the blue one down to get it out of the way. Lift up slightly on the red tab and give it a pull, and there you are. Now it's out. So, let's go over how to make the D chord. So, you want to refer back to your book, and there is a uh, diagram there of how to make the D chord. There's a hump right here. Okay, this hump is here for a reason. That is so that you can get your index finger under the hump, and it falls perfectly onto the G string. Okay, that gives you enough room to get to your others. See that right there? So, to make the D chord first, put your index finger on the hump and then just slide it off and it will fall directly on to the G string. Then place your middle finger on the second fret, first string, your index finger, I mean your ring finger on the third fret, second string, and then you again you strum from four down. That is your D chord. And uh, it's just that easy. So you are just using your, your left hand to push the buttons. And then, uh, then you start to remove those tabs. And you can see where these little rubber feet, they actually mimic your fingers uh, playing the... Uh, playing the strings, putting the pressure onto the string, down to the fret. And then you're able to start playing those chords with your fingers. Now, this is about a two-month process. Uh, again, you can download the download the app. You download the, the app to watch the videos. We just watched one of the videos uh, that has the uh, process for removing the D tab. And then uh, as you progress, it takes about two months. Uh, but the beautiful thing is, is, is that uh, you take your guitar, put the chord buddy onto it. Now, if you've got a chord, if you've got a guitar already, then uh, chord buddy will fit most of the standard guitars uh, that look like this. There are uh, different versions for classical. There are a left-handed version, uh, left-handed guitars, and there is a left-handed version of the chord buddy as well. Uh, and then this will fit, and uh, this will fit. Actually, you can see this little Fender Stratocaster that I have up next to me. Uh, it'll fit on there. It'll fit on uh, Gibson guitars, Gibson electrics. I have uh, a Sheraton II, semi hollow body, uh, something that you might see... Um, in old rock and roll uh, or blues. So uh, anyway, that guitar, the chord buddy fits perfectly on there. And, uh, but when you put that on, you can start be playing songs right away. And so uh, I'm gonna go back and uh, let's actually show uh, that uh, John Rich 
so you can see how to play guitar uh, right out of the box. Get your guitar, put the chord buddy on it, make sure you're in tune. Use something like uh, like a, a digital tuner to make sure your guitar is in tune. And I'll tell you what, uh, you can actually play along with John Rich right here. So let's take a look at that and see uh, how that works when he plays using the chord buddy. And then uh, we'll be right back here. About the chord buddy, not only is it so easy to use, it's also an instant party. And let me prove that to you for a second. You like big and rich music? You wanna come on the road with us? You wanna be in a band? If you got a chord buddy and you can push the red button and the blue button, you can play Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Check this out. Well, I walk into the room, passing out hundred dollar bills, and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. Red button, I buy the bar, a double round of crown. Everybody is getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Red button, and I saddle up my horse. Blue button, and I ride into the city. Red button, make a lot of noise. Blue button, cause the girls, they are so pretty. Riding up and down Broadway on my old Stuttley Roy And the girls say, same horse, ride a cowboy Everybody say, same horse, ride a cowboy Woo! Party time with the Cord Buddy Get yourself a Cord Buddy and have some fun, people It's time And then uh, we remove that uh, D tab. <laughs> so there you have it. You're actually uh, playing, you can just play along with John Rich by using the chord buddy. And uh, let's get that D tab back in there. Uh, using two chords and you're playing a song, you're playing along, you're playing some big and rich music with a chord buddy. You can do that right out of the box uh, with the guitar, with the chord buddy. Uh, there's the learning system. Now, there are a, a lot of books available as well. So you can get, uh, you can get uh, different song books. Uh, so with the chord buddy learning system, now you're going to get the... Um, you're going to get a uh, lesson book. You're going to get the chord buddy. You're also going to get a song book that comes with this. Uh, there's a little over 100 songs in that book as well. Then there's more books that you can buy. And so the publisher, uh, Hal Leonard, which is uh, one of the world's largest, if they are not the largest, music publisher, have, have a, a lot of different books available. So we've got these uh, in the carousel. You can get pop hits. Uh, you can get the guitar method. There's uh, volume two, volume three of the songbooks available. These are all designed to play specifically with Chord Buddy. There's the traditional hymns. And so there are a number of different books. There's even a Christmas book. So you can go out and get ready. In fact, we had a great story uh, from a man out in California that uh, he got the chord buddy and uh, the Christmas songbook, and him and his little, like three, four year old daughter went through the neighborhood uh, doing Christmas caroling. And uh, they had never, he had never played guitar before. Of course, they love singing the Christmas carols, but now he's accompanying them and uh, they're just going around the neighborhood. So as you're thinking, uh, what should I buy my father? Father's Day is coming up. What should I buy my father uh, that he doesn't have, that he wants, that I can afford? Uh, I would definitely say the Chord Buddy. Does he have a guitar? In the closet, under the bed, somewhere that he wants to play, but uh, just hasn't gotten to that. Then the, um, the Chord Buddy is a great way to go. Hey, I'm going to just highlight a couple of other things here. Uh, I do use my, uh, and I, I've got the, um, my AKG uh, headphones. Where did I put those? Oh, here they are. Yeah. Um, now again, when you're 
uh, recording and we talked about some of the different microphones uh, that we use. Uh, reference headphones, a good set of reference headphones like the uh, AKGs. And uh, these, uh, these are the K240s. These are a semi-open uh, ear. About, they're not going to have the, the big, strong bass response that you would get from like some beats, but they are good uh, even. So they're perfect for uh, recording your music, for listening to your music as you're recording, making sure you're getting the right balance. And then also perfect for podcasting. And uh, so I'm going to switch my microphone here because we are uh, currently on the MXL 990. And let me switch back over to the Shure microphone. So stand by. Okay, so got the, let's get the let's get the power and uh, turn the gain up just a little bit on this one. All right, so uh, what are some of the tools? Now, I also am a, a fan of the Bluetooth wireless uh, earbuds. Let's get a little more into the microphone there. There we go. All right, so uh, and uh, that is with the I like. Sony products. Now these these are Bluetooth. Uh, they connect they connect up to my phone, up to my iPad. I use the iPad Pro for running these Amazon shows, and uh, also for a lot of different things. These uh, GarageBand is on there, and I can connect these up to my phone. They've got a great microphone, a really good battery life, and of course you put them in the case to charge them up. And so that is really good. But uh, I want to talk a little about, uh, uh, so I, I do have a podcast and that's in the carousel. So you can listen to that. I do use a number of different microphones for that one as well. But I am pretty much sticking with the Shure SM7B here, Cloudlifter and Focusrite. Uh, a little later today, we are going to have at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Fred Keenly and Leadership with an Attitude. I'll be back on the air with him. And uh, uh, so let me just highlight a couple of things that, uh, again, I always say this is the greatest time ever to be alive uh, because uh, if you want to write a book, if you want to play music, if you want to record a podcast, an audio show, video show, uh, all of the tools are here available. You can buy them all right on Amazon. You have it all delivered to your house and uh, create all of your own content. Um, and I, one of the things I recommend and I've got highlighted is writing your own book. So this book, it, these are some short reads that we've got here. So Influence, Creation of Credibility is a book that you can buy. It takes you through a process to write a book in 12 weeks or less. Also, uh, accompanying that, an online course and webinar. So that book, Influence Creation of Credibility, gives you all of the tools to be able to write a book. And uh, there's uh, free um, videos that are connected to that. So in the book, there's a short read again, but you can connect, watch the videos and get the outline and everything that you need to write your own book. And the next one that I've got highlighted in here, another short read, Relationships Grow Your Business. This is a method and process for business networking, a short, uh, a short book uh, you can read in one sitting, and it actually gives you a format. If, you, if your business is uh, based on referrals, then I definitely recommend Relationships Grow Your Business. And uh, now that the... Uh, restrictions are being lifted from COVID and we're being able to get back together. Face-to-face -to -face events, networking events, motivational listener, be interesting by being interested, a practical guide to being successful with business networking events, another short read and uh, available here in the carousel. And the final one again tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I will be with Fred Keenly, and he is the author of uh, re, uh, his new book is Leadership with an Attitude, a follow-up to his book, Health with an Attitude. He is the attitude guru. Uh, you'll want to tune in for that. He was uh, 
Well, he's connected with the Zig Ziglar Corporation as a family friend and uh, actually knew Zig Ziglar. So uh, tune into that and ask him questions. We'll be live here on Amazon, and then you can uh, add into the chat, add some questions. Let's interact with Fred and have some fun with that. So those are some things. That's what's uh, coming up. Uh, it has been fun today playing uh, music with you, learning how to play guitar. And uh, let's go out with uh, with Travis showing you how to you how to play Hound Dog on um, on the chord buddy and it's using a little advanced me- uh <laughs> advanced it's an advanced method of using the chord buddy it's a process called pedaling and it's something that you would do without the chord buddy uh very typical in a lot of rock and roll songs in the day so let's look at hound dog and with that i'm going to say have a fabulous day cheers Going to teach you an Elvis Presley all-time great mega hit. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. The song, not you. I I I'm, I didn't mean you. I meant the song. <laughs> uh, this is going to incorporate some techniques that is not on your Chord Buddy DVD. Um, it's called the pedal move, and the pedal move would be when you advance. If you're playing a, a boogie woogie like a. Uh, uh, well, when I go down with my pinky there, that's called pedaling, okay? So what we're going to do here on the G is you're going to hold the, the blue down, target the top three strings, six, five, and four, and you're going to pick it twice, strum it twice, and then you're going to keep the blue pressed and add the yellow to it. See? And that makes uh, a boogie-woogie pattern, shuffle pattern. When you go to the green, you're going to press it with your middle finger, target the fifth, fourth, and third string. And you're going to uh, pedal to the red. All right. When you go to the red, the D chord, you're going to target the bottom four. And that's that's uh, your pattern for this. Okay. Uh, again, I'm using... Um, uh, garage band drum loops. This is uh, it is the funky shuffle drum set pattern 21. And all you do is you set your tempo to what you want it to be, and you hit it, and it plays the drum beat for you. Very simple. It gets more complex if you want to build tracks and add piano and bass to it. If you want to learn that, please send me an email saying do more garage band, and I'll do my best to do it. Here we go. Hey, pretty funky, isn't it? You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine Well, you said you was high class That was just a lie Oh,